people are much more able to put information out there. But it doesn't mean anyone will read it. There's so much information out there now, you have the problem of how do people discover the thing you're concerned about. And yeah, the internet is having some effects. Things like My Society, Factor MP, these things are having an effect on government. The ability of people to organize protest campaigns has been much enhanced by the internet. But it's not yet really changed government. And the kind of things we've seen government trying to do to get with the internet have been completely unrelated to the underlying thing, which is this kind of democracy and accountability. Instead, there have been things like electronic voting, online voting, it's things that actually, again, everyone in the technology world is saying, please don't do that, it's a bad idea. So they've, they've missed, you know, they think E is good, but they've missed, you know, they've, they're concentrating on things like being able to do your taxes online, which is good, but they're missing out on you know, the whole democratic side, the communication side of it has completely bypassed most of them. The government should be putting out everything it can, statistics and data in usable form. So the National Statistics Office is doing a good job on some of that. Um, they could do with being a lot better about making people aware of things like consultations. I mean, all the people who deal with consultations all know where to look, but getting the public much more involved, and that's a, it's a hard problem. With, you know, there's no easy answers to these things. And recognising that things like the internet and government services should be a two-way medium. So for, I mean, it's just a silly, silly example. If I see part of a tax form which is hard to fill in, there is no box on my tax form where I can add a comment saying, I thought this tax form was hard to fill in because or, it would have been useful to know. That's the kind of thing the internet empowers. And they really aren't making use of that kind of thing at all. I think my experience is if you give people the, if you empower people to make decisions, make changes, then in a lot of cases it works. I don't think it works for everything. There are some things, I mean, one of the reasons people elect politicians is to do all of the gungy work that they don't want to do themselves. So, you know, we have elected our politicians to go and read the, the European Union Treaty. We do not all want to sit at home and vote on it. When you get to local things where people actually really understand what is going on, then I think empowering them and making them able to do, make decisions is really good. But also, I mean, there might be loads of people who do want to read the European Treaty and to... I have my doubts, but yes. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just using that as an example. Let's like, say there are 30 people who want to read it across Britain. Yes. Who are going to give you to people, there probably are. Yes, I mean, we have government consultations for that kind of thing. And the difference there, though, is you don't get everybody... I mean, think about local things, like a hospital change, for example. You get a very large number of people involved who are the local community. Uh, people who actually understand what's going on, same with schools and stuff. People who understand and care about it. Um, with more general or less interesting stuff, you may only have a tiny fringe of people who are actually interested, and they may not be representative of the community. That's the other danger. Making sure people can see the process and not only see it, but people should be able to influence it. If people don't think they can influence the process, then they need feedback. You know, they need something which says, yes, you did influence the process, which isn't really there. And I think a lot of it, if you have a very centralised system, you can't fix. Because people don't, at the end of the day, people don't care about a consultation with the whole of the UK. And there isn't enough local knowledge. I mean, if you have a consultation about car parking, for example, you have no one about car parking in Swansea, you'll get lots of local feedback by people who understand it. If you have a feedback thing on car parking in policy for Britain, nobody understands enough locally about car parking situations in any other city. So you won't get meaningful feedback. So you have to have much more local policy to tap into these things.